Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's PJ. And a wonderful day, wonderful day. We are coming to you here from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, oil country again, Pete. And we haven't been here in a while. Uh, we haven't faced the the um, crocodiles in a while either. And, uh, they're not doing all that great right now, are they? No, sir. Um, yeah, they're they're bringing up the uh, bottom in their own division, the Pathfinder division. They uh, the crocodiles are sitting with a three and eight record, a th three and a half games out of first place, with a negative seventeen run differential, which I think currently is the worst run differential in the league. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Yeah. That meant minus seventeen. The next uh, team is would be the Sandcats with a negative thirteen. So. Well, and there's going to be some games we need to tell you about that could affect that too. Um, but before we jump on those other games, I guess I'll tell you a little about the last game. There wasn't a ton of highlights. It was, it was kind of a low-scoring game, but it went well for the B-Wolves. Um, in the bottom of the second, Eliza Peck came up to the, bait, to the plate with uh, two outs, runners of the corners, and she hits an RBI out in the center field, uh, getting a single and bringing in the runner from third. Then in the, uh, the bottom of the fourth, Bertha Banks came up, and she hits one out in the left field. A fly ball of runners on first and second gets double RBI. Bertha Banks are good this season, Pete. Yeah, she's coming out of that. I mean, again, it's hard to say that <laughs> <laughs> given the given the first 11 games we've played. But, uh, uh, you know, game 10 and 11, we saw um, the B-Wolf B offense seem to come come alive a little bit and seem to wake up. And she seems to be one of the one of the players that's leading the charge. Well, in the top of the seventh, Dallas McGuire steps up and hits a grounder to the shortstop over Gina Torrance, who throws it out. It's a sacrifice out, but he gets a runner in from third, which makes it interesting. Cats get on the board to get one run, but at the end of it, Macy York comes up at the top of the ninth. She goes against Axelson, throws this pitch. It's a left field fly, which is to Buster Biggs, caught for out, and the B-Wolves get the bragging rights for Phoenix this year, Pete, three to one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big game, uh, big home game, and finally gave the B, uh, the Phoenix fans something to cheer about. Yeah. All right, and then now let's tell they you they were guaranteed they were guaranteed a win no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> no matter, right. No matter what happened, <laughs> Phoenix was winning that game and losing it. Well, there's 19 other games that went on, so why don't we cover those and then we get to the standings, Pete? So start us off with the Saw Teeth at the Moon Stars out in San Diego. Okay. Saw Teeth uh, traveling. Long button again. <laughs> to the Moon Stars. Here we go. And it went like this. It went something like this. Moon Stars got out early, but the Sawtees come back and win 4-2 and 11. Freebooters in Detroit at the Heaters. Heaters 7-3. Wide loads taken on the Gold Coats. Back and forth battle, but the Gold Coats take it 3-2. to two. Buzzards in St. Louis at the Hot Corners, and it's a Buzzards win 5-2. Jacks travel to Philadelphia, take on the Front Runners. It's Front Runners all day. Ooh. Take that one 10-2. Arctic's down in L.A. at the Blowfish. It's all Blowfish. To start and end, eight to two. The Moose travel to take on the Philadelphia Freedom. Philadelphia Freedom take an early lead, but the Moose come back and win at four three and eleven. Burners at the Colorado Orblers, and it's all burners. Holy cow, twenty to one. Holy cow, the Overdogs take it on the Outlaws. It's a local scoring affair, and it, all of a sudden they breaks out. Overdogs take it eight five. Yeah, Nemesis up in in Seattle at the Herbisaurs. Herbisaurs win at three two. Grappler, uh, grappler stick it on the sirloins, and it's the grapplers four, sirloins three. Why those down in Florida at the water bolts? Water bolts win at three one. Warblers take it on the herbivores. Warblers jump out to an early lead, but the herbivores come roaring back. It's a back and forth battle. Herbivores take it eight seven. Platypi out in Fort Lauderdale at the freebooters, and it's all freebooters, ten to five. Overdogs take it on the sirloins. And it's Overdogs 4, Sirloins 3. Two dogs wins. Saw Teeth of the Moon Stars. It's a close game, but the Moon Stars eke it out 5 4. The uh, Wild Pigs in the Buzzards, and it's Wild Pigs early, and they hold on to win 6 to 1. Hot Corners in Detroit. The Heaters again. Heaters 2 1. The Jacks taking on the Front Runners. It's Front Runners 1 to nothing over the Jacks. Wow. All right. Start so, uh, is it Sits? Pioneer Conference, Pathfinder Division. The Burners and the Moose are locked up at, at the top. Tied for first place with uh, a record of seven and four. Uh, Burners leading that uh, battle though with a plus 32 run <laughs> differential. That big 20 run <laughs> game uh, helped them out there. So uh, Burners with a plus 32 uh, and then the Moose uh, in uh, just behind them. In tied for second place, uh, the Blowfish and the Freedom, but they, their records of four and seven leave them three games back. 
Wow, yeah, I can't believe anyone's beat the Burners four times with that kind of offense they put up. The Uncharted right. Division uh, New York Wild Pigs are at the front as usual. They're 8-4 and four this season with a plus 12 run differential. The next team still has a winning record. It's the Colorado Buzzards, where they're at 7-5. and five. Uh, down in the Journey Division, the Freebooters are uh, running away with it this year. They got a record of nine and three, sit alone atop the uh, Journey Division. Arctics just behind them in second place with a record of five and six. They're three and a half games behind the Freebooters, though. Freebooters aren't even feeling any pressure at this point. <laughs> I know, best record in the league. Uh, in our conference, Explore, Div Explore Conference Seafair Division, the uh, Oakland Gold Coats, uh, the California Gold Coats, are out there in first. Uh, oddly enough, at seven and four, they got a half game lead against both the, uh, the Santa Monica Overdogs and the Detroit Heaters, who are both seven and five. I got some news to report here, Tommy. Down in the trade division, uh, once again, the Sirloins are not in first <laughs> place. What? That's right. I said not. No. Herbisaurus have jumped up, taking first place in the trade division with a record of seven and five. The Sirloins just behind them, playing 500 ball right now. They had a record of six and six. They're a game back. Uh, our very own B Wolves have crawled out of the uh, out of the cellar. They now sit in fourth place with a record of four and seven, and they're two and a half games out of first place. They are to finish things off in the Curiosity Division. You got those San Jose Saw Teeth who are in first place. They're eight and four. The plus 10 run differential. They got a full game lead against the San Diego Moonstars, who also have a winning record at 7 5. And there that's going to bring us to this game. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, the Crocodons here, real quick. Crocodonos, we got three new players this season uh, that we're looking at. First one, Carlton Starr. <clears throat> Carlton Starr played his last two seasons for the Heaters. He's shortstop, second base. 32 year old, making 9.8 million, known mostly for his contact and his fielding. Real good defensive player. Um, he he had he, he had real good batting averages with the Heaters the last two seasons. He's a little bit down this season, hitting 250. Uh, he's um, eight for 32. So uh, he's hoping to turn things around here and get finally get settled into Houston. He's got power against right-handers, so we'll have to look out for him. Um, going on down, we got Clifford Kane, I believe, is the other one. Nope, not Clifford Kane. I'm sorry, Stephen Reed. Stephen Reed is a rookie. A 23-year-old rookie making 6.4 million, also second base shortstop. Uh, he's played in eight games, and right now he's got a 267 average. So he's enjoying his first season here as a crocodile down in Houston, although for a losing team right now. And then finally down in the pitching second, you got Nico Dickerson, is new to the team. He played those last two seasons at Colorado at the Warblers. Um, he looks like he's a relief pitcher, a minus rank. So that's that's a solid ranking. 32-year-old making 8.1 million. He's got a 1-0 record this year. Um, in seven games, he's, he's showed up. In. So he's, he's got 2.70 ERA. So he's uh, he's he's a good pickup for the for the um, for the Crocs here. Dickerson, yeah. yeah. He's all right. <laughs> he's, he's not that tough. He's this, all right. That brings us to today's game. It's regular season game 12 of 44. Uh, we had to postpone the uh, line from the hive that'll happen after this one. <laughs> Uh, between these next two games, because just it was just getting out of town. We'll be in we'll be in Houston for a little while here, so we'll do it. We'll do that while we're in town. The Beavles are four and seven. They're going up against the three and eight Crocodons. The Crocodons hoping to even those records out. Beavles hoping to get closer to five hundred. Crocodons are known as rotation aces, but they're actually really, really pretty good everywhere except for power. They don't have much power at all. Uh, basically, like the Beavles. <laughs> As it sits, uh, we're going to be starting our fourth string, the, our southpaw, Deshaun Levon. We're going to throw him at the Crocs. He's been playing well recently, you know, mostly for his accuracy. He's got a 1-1 one -on -one record, so he's evened up. He's got 2.7 ERA and a 0.78 whip. This may be the best start for Deshaun Levon yet, so uh, feeling good about Deshaun, Pete. Yeah, me too, and, and uh, we talked about it last time. This team was kind of dragging, and, uh, you know, they needed a spark, and I think Deshaun Levan is always the one who tends to bring it. So um, quietly, even though he's a four-string pitcher, he tends to pitch very well. He's pr pretty uh, solid in uh, on the mound, and he's going to have some big names behind him. Tommy uh, Hanley Dexter is the center; he's got him marked as the center fielder. So maybe he'll be out in center field again today. He's got uh, better than average power. He's got good ability to connect, good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 429 with a home run. Buster Biggs in left field's got. Uh, 
Better than average power, better than average ability to connect. Good speed on the base pass, hitting 325 with two home runs. And then Sturdy Woodman at first base with better than average power, good ability to connect, not and uh, less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 333 with a home run, Tom. He is. They're going to be going up against Bay Paul, the right-hander for the Crocs, their four-string starter. Uh, Bay is 0-1 in the season with a 5.56 ERA and a 1-4-0 whip, so she's... She's the uh, lesser of the two pitchers, at least uh, this season so far. She's no other for junk, though. She's got better than average junk, and she's she's fairly accurate. So uh, it's not a gimme, but um, Bay Paul's going to be open to turn things around. Beevil's got to get to her uh, early on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, one of the people you talked about, Carlton Starr, the shortstop, he's locked in right now. Um, he's got uh, better than average speed, very good fielding, and a, and a very good arm at, at shortstop. He's hitting 250 with no home runs. Uh, Tia Lanier, Lanier, mm-hmm. the catcher, with uh, good power, about um, a little bit better than average ability to connect, less than average speed. She's only hitting 161 with one home run and run to third, run to third, mm-hmm. the third baseman, with good power, about average ability to connect, and very good speed on the base pass. But she's only hitting 129 with one home run, so you can kind of get a feeling for why this team's 3-8 and right now, Tom, with those batting averages in their notable players. Right, yeah, yeah, you're looking at that. That's your notable. Okay. (laughs) Uh, We are getting the lineup from the assistant coach looking a little something. Actually, it's looking exactly like this right here. Freddie Knox is going to start things off, play second base. Freddie looking like a champion. Uh, He will bat first, uh, batting second. Right behind him, Hanley Dexter is going back to shortstop now. Sturdy Woodman's going to be right behind him at first base, and he's going to bat third. Batting cleanup because we're in uh, the other conference. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, we're in the other conference, and they're building designated hitter. <clears throat> Ruby Green's going to hit for uh, Deshaun today. He will He will just pitch. She'll bat fourth. Batting fifth, Buster Biggs will be back on left field. Magic Moore in center field batting sixth. And Billy LeBoink in right field batting seventh, so it's the, the usual outfield. <clears throat> and the usual third base. Bertha Banks is going to play third base in bat eighth. Betting ninth, then, is going to be our catcher for the evening, Eliza Peck. We've seen a lot of Eliza Peck this, this season. We'll be going with her a little bit more than uh, Steve Monster, so we'll see we'll see what that, that fits out. And then starting pitcher is going to be Deshaun LeVon in on the mound only. He will throw the four-finger, the two-finger, the slider, and the changeup. And we're ready to get things underway here, Pete, in Houston, Texas. Yes, sir, the Tiger Den. Beautiful stadium here in Texas beautiful day get some baseball going here let's hope uh, the b can continue their winning ways pull themselves out of continue to pull themselves up the standings mm-hmm. crocodons lineup is going to look a little something like this tom oh yeah uh, Carlton Starr leading off playing shortstop drive with the designated hitter. Reed in second base, Kendall at first. Lionair catching third at third base. Kane in center field, Vortex in right field, and Noggins in left field. Reed and Carlton are both locked in. So as the Crocodons take the field, Freddie Knox, Hanley Dexterous, and Sturdy Woodman will get ready to take the box. Bay Paul going to take the mound with her 5.56 ERA. Now batting. Get this one underway here. Freddie Knox, Knox, neutral and fit, hitting 385 with a home run, three RBIs so far this season. First pitch is lifted. It's going to be in the gap between left and center. Freddie Knox is coming around first, head second with a double. So a leadoff double for Freddie Knox. Wow. Way to get things started, b Usually, usually I didn't think I'd wanted to see him swing at that last one, but it was right in there. Actually, it was a little low. Handley Dex hitting 429. One home run, eight RBI. He's got a fast runner in second scoring position. Has to back out of the way of that first pitch early here in the first inning. Oh, He's out ahead of that one. Swing and miss. Strike one. Reeve don't want a piece. One ball, one strike. That one's right in there, but he's a little early again. Pulls that one foul. One and two. But Hanley's a tough out. Standing in left-hand batter's box. Swings, pulls that one, hits it back off the wall. Foul again. Bay Paul, sixth pitch. Swings at a high one, pops that one up into left field, but uh, Freddie Knox is going to have to come back. He's not going to have time to get to third. One down. One down. Freddie Knox standing at second base. In steps Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman. He's new troll and fit, hitting 333 with a home run, six RBIs. Freddie Knox still standing at second base. First pitch is inside. Ball one. That one's way outside. Ball two. Bay Paul now behind in the count. Two balls and a sh- no strikes. Ooh. 
a throw back to second and the second <laughs> shortstop dropped the ball. Unfortunately, Freddie Max couldn't advance. Another throw back. And Bay Paul paying particular attention to Freddie Knox back there. Allen's inside ball three. Three balls, no strikes with one out. Allen's high ball four. And they walk Sturdy Woodman. I almost think that might have been strategy. Now they gotta they gotta force it at any base except home. So But they got the RBI man of Ruby Green hitting 154. I heard the crowd groan after that walk. Learns the first and second with only one out. That one misses low. It looks like Bay Paul's having a hard time getting the strike zone here. Two quick misses, and she's 2-0. and Pressure up at the Tiger Den. That one's in the high side. Makes it for a strike finally, 2-1. and one. That one misses a little high 3-1. and one. They got a hitter's pitch, or 15th pitch, coming right in. Uh, That's popped up in the left field. <laughs> uh, Rachel coming back to get that star for the second out. Two outs. Runners at first and second, and Buster Big steps in. He's hit, uh, playing left field. Neutron fit hitting 325, two home runs, four RBIs on the season. First pitch from Paul is in there for Colt. Strike, strike one. Allen's fouled straight back. Now Biggs in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. Freddie Knox in second base, and Sturdy Woodman at first. That one's inside ball one. Swing, and he just gets enough of that to push that foul along the first baseline. That's outside. Count is evened up now. Two balls, two strikes with two outs. That's fouled off into the stands along the third baseline. <laughs> that one's fouled straight back. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners at first and second. Bay Paul throwing her 23rd pitch in the first inning. That's low. Count has gone full. Three and two. There's a smash line oh. drive to Steve O'Reed who jumps. <laughs> Makes the catch for the third out. So a lot of promise, but no payoff for the B-Wolves. We're going into the bottom of the first. Carlton star lane drive. Steven Reed going to face Deshaun Levon in his 2.70 ERA. Carlton Reed pointing, hitting, pointing his shot. He's just shortstop locked in and fit. Hitting 250. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. Number 29 gets his, his call from Peck. Winds up, throws it. Hard hit to deep right center field. It's going back off the wall. It's a fair ball. Bust, Billy Voigt's picking it up. He throws it into the cutoff. And he's going to get into second base with a leadoff double. That brings in Leanne Drive. He was hitting 275. Four RBIs in the season. Faster than average runner at second base. Pressure up here as the Crocs are hoping to score. She reaches down at a bad pitch. Fouls back off on one of the count. John LeVon's third pitch, check swing inside of misses. Ball one, we're even one apiece. Beautiful day here for baseball in Houston. A lot of Crocs fans on hands. Oh, and that's gonna get again into a gap. Another, another double coming in to second here. That's two doubles by the Crocs and they score the first run of the game. And it's a one on Houston. And still no outs yet. In comes Steven Reed, the rookie. 267 leaning back, hoping to add to the chaos. Fouls one off Souvenir, first base line. On one account, bottom of the first. That one's high and inside, makes it in, no swing. Strike 202, easy whiffer. Pops that one up. <clears throat> Sturdy Woodman going back, dives but can't get it out of play. <clears throat> We're still even at 0 2. The crowd on their feet, hoping he could do something. Check swing just misses a little bit far outside. There's a hard hit to us. Jumping Woodman who can't get it. Here comes the throw home. And it's going to score another run. It's 2 0 now as the runner comes around from third. <clears throat> Andre Candela now, second base hitting 132. One home run, three RBIs. And a runner at first hits a roller to Freddie Knox who's going to pick that one up. Oh my gosh! He goes to first and doesn't get the double play. Didn't do the easy toss. And now you got a runner at second base. One out. Inside corner strike one. Sean Levine looking a little bit tense. Throwing his dozens pitch. That's deep to center field. Magic Moore is back. Oh, that's gone. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Into the bushes. That one was 428 feet. Leonardo's second home run and fourth their RBI of the season. And the Crocs have taken an early... First inning lead, uh, four to nothing. <clears throat> Run to third up now. 
and that's fouled off on the first base line. Oh, on the count, 14th pitch, swing a strike two. We need that second out. There he gets outside corner. Okay, Deshaun Levon going to turn things around here for the B-Wolves, who are not out of this. Clifford Kane hitting 231. The, the fans are getting the money's worth, though. They came here getting what they hope to see. Check swing strike one outside corner to Clifford Kane. Second pitch check swing inside makes it there for strike two. Deshaun Levon's got him where he wants him. One more to go. Hard hit the right field, but it's foul souvenir. 0-2. Oh Here it comes again. Swings it a little roller to the ground. Bertha Banks picks it up. Throw over to first base. Gets him for that third out. Ends the summer. What a crappy <coughs> inning. <laughs> Heading into the top of the second, it's Crocodiles 4, B-Wolves nothing. Magic Moore, Billy LeBoink, and Bertha Banks are going to face off Bay against Bay Polo through 24 pitches. Gave up a walk and one hit. Our ERA is up to 5'11". Magic more neutral and fit. He's hitting 114 with a home run, one RBI. All right, Bewell's offense has got to come alive here in this second inning. First one stood in there for a strike, a floater. Oh, on the count. Second one misses for ball, even at one apiece. Pitch count up to 27 now for Bayball. Hard hit, but that's a roller straight to Reed at second base and one pump throws it to first to get the first out. Billy LeBoyk, neutral and fit, favors the high pitch. He's hitting 333 with a home run, four RBIs. One out, base is empty in the top of the second for LeBoyk. That one's inside, ball one. That <laughs> one's ripped, foul into the stands along the third baseline. One ball, one strike with one out. That one's low, ball two. That one's low as well. Three and one now to LeBoyk. A shot that's going to roll right to the shortstop, Carlton Starr. He'll pick it up, make the throw to Candela for the second out. Two down now, and in steps Bertha Banks. Oh, not what we were hoping for. Bertha Banks hitting 324 <clears throat> on the season. One home run, five RBIs. That one floats way up high. There's never a chance. 1 0 the count. That one's up high, but she fouls it back off the net. Ruby to one apiece. That one misses a little bit low, and she's back ahead. 2 and 1 is Bertha Banks. That one's high, 3 and 1. 37th pitch coming inside and it walks a good patience by Bertha Banks who gets a free base. Yes, sir. So run our first base, Eliza Peck the catcher stepping in, neutral fit, hitting 217 with the two RBIs this season. Bertha Banks at first base with two outs in the top of the second. Crocodiles with that 4 0 oh. lead. There's a hot smash to turd over at third base. She'll throw to Candela for the third out. So 1 2 3, we're going to head, I mean 1 2 3 4. Mm. We're heading into the bottom of the second. It's uh, Bewolves, no runs on one hit. Crocs, uh, four runs on four hits. Vinny Vortex, Biff Noggins, and Carlton Starr going to face Levon who threw 19 pitches with a strikeout, give up four hits. His ERA's jumped up to four something. Vinny Vortex, new control, a bit hitting 326 with a home run, eight RBIs. Base is empty for Vortex. Levon, tense now, pops that one up in the shallow left field. Hanley Dexterous is there. Makes the catch for the first out, one down, and in steps Biff Noggins, the left fielder. He's neutral and fit, hitting zero so far this season. Noggins playing left field for the Crocodons. Takes the first pitch for a cold strike, strike one. That one's high, ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. Swing and a miss, and Noggins was out in front of that one. He's now behind in the count, one and two with one out. Bases are empty for Noggins. That's inside, ball two. Two and two now. Crocodon's taking a four-run lead in the first inning. Noggins lets one go by for a call, third strike. Two outs now, Carlton Star, the shortstop. He's locked in and fit. He's one for one with a double. Crocodiles have batted around, back to the top. First pitch to star is inside, ball one. There's a roller, and Dexterous is going to lay out, pick it up, oh. and make the throw. Unfortunately, wheels, and he's able to beat out the throw for an infield single. Leanne Drive locked in and Fitch is one for one with a double herself. She picked up the first RBI of the game. Carlton Starr at first base with two outs. Swing and a miss by the lane drive. Throw over to first. Star is back. No balls, one strike with two outs in the bottom of the second. 
Swing and a miss and drive was out in front of that one. Now she finds herself in the hole. No balls. Two strikes with two outs. Deshaun LeVon delivers. She fouls that one off straight back into the uh, back top. Throw to first and star is back. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first base. Crocodiles four. He was nothing. She takes that pitch for a called third strike. And LeVon strikes out two in the second. So he's coming back here. We're going into the top of the third. It's still 4 nothing. Crocodons. Freddie Knox, 1-for-1 one one with a double-handed dexterity. 0 0-for-1 and Sturdy Woodman with a walk. Bay Paul has done some stuff. <laughs> Freddie Knox, 1-for-1 one one with a double, hitting 400 with a home run, three RBIs. All right, Beowulf. Now's your time to get back in this thing. Curveball hits oh, nope. it's a liner straight to star on the ground. <laughs> one pump, throw to first. One pitch, one out. No. And the next there is a shortstop neutral and fit 0-for-1 today, hitting 414 with a home run, eight RBIs. Come on, Hanley. One out, base is empty in the top of the third. That one's out of, off the plate. Ball one. There's a shot. That's out of here. Yeah. That's going to travel. Gone. And Hanley Dexterous has got on, on the board with a long home run to left center, right center field. It went 418 feet. It's his second home run and ninth RBI of the season. And the score is now four to one. Yeah, I was gonna say Hanley was a little bit low on the home run count. It was, it was about time he got another one there. Good timing. Beagle's back on the board. Here comes Sturdy Woodman, 333, the home run. First one sails up, misses high. One will count Sturdy. That one's right in there. That's a roller on the ground to Reed. He picks it up, one pump to the first two down. Ruby Green, the first baseman's neutral and fit. She's 0 for one today. Known as an RBI man. The bases are empty. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch is high, ball one. There's a shot, oh. line drive to Carlton Starr. will pick it out of the air for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the third. Buells are on the board, but the Crocodons still hold on to a three-run lead. It's 4-1 Crocodons. Stephen Reed, one for one. Andrew Candela, 0 for one. Tierra, Tara Leonier, one for one with a home run. Levana, 31 now pitches with three strikeouts. Second baseman, number Stephen Reed, one for one with a single. In 290, locked in Stephen Reed, the rookie. As we said, having a good uh, good start to the day here. Watch the first one sail just a little bit outside. Ball one, one on the count. Sean Levon got his stuff back together here. He's no longer tense. This is that one though, two and zero. Oh. That one's in there for the strike. Uh, two and one, the safety's off. Thirty fifth pitch from Levon coming right now. Files that curveball back up off the net. slider back off the net. We're even at two apiece. He's a whiffer. Oh, that one just misses outside. Three and two, full count. Reed pops that one up, foul ball, third baseline, souvenir. Very Nobody's a whiffer when I'm pitching. <laughs> inside court, oh, just missed inside. And that puts Reed on base with a walk to start off. Andre Condello 0 for 1. Normally a, a pretty good hitter. <clears throat> Looking a little tense. Got a slow runner at first base. That's in the dirt. Good trap by Peck. One look how 40th pitch. Fouled off, fouled off hard back off the fence. We're even at one apiece. Fall, uh, slider gets popped up first baseline souvenir one and two he's ahead in the count check swing strike three all right that's the third K from Deshaun Levon who looks like he's trying to get things together here again Tara Leonair one for one with a home run two RBIs but a, a, a ground out double would be a great thing for Beals here he goes to first doesn't get him slow runner not likely to run check swing strike one outside corner and he gets ahead of her the count to start to hold one Tara Leonair who hit that three-run home run earlier on. That one's right in there for a strike as well. 0-2, oh, looking good. Can he get her to chase? See what happens. Fouls that slider back off off the fence. We're still at 0-2. Oh, Reaches down, fouls one back off. 0-2 oh, still. 47th pitch, fouls that one back. 0-2, oh, closing in on 50 pitches here in the third inning for Deshaun Levon. CRA's dropped to four, two, six. Ooh, that one up in the face. She anticipated somehow. One and two. Pops that one up third baseline. Bertha Banks is waving it off. She took like two steps. That lands right in her glove for that second out. The Weebles need just one more. And up comes run to third. It was a good solid contact here. A lot of power. Hitting 125. First pitch is a check swing, but it's in there for strike. Nice slider. Oh, and one to count to third. Oh, that one's a hard hit straight into center field. Magic Moore picks it up on his way. Throws it back to second to hold the runner up. 
That's a clean single by Turd. And that's bringing up Clifford Kane now for 1 2 25. An outfield single driving another run. So Deshaun Levant's got to be able to put him away or get him to hit it on the ground. Swing hard for the fences, but misses over the count. Swings hard, hits that one down the third base line. 0 oh 2. Can he work it to get him another K here? Oh, a slider misses high. 1 2. 55th pitch by Deshaun Levant coming right now. Swinging with strike three. Wait in the side, and Kane smashes the bat in disgust. Into the top of the fourth, it's still four to not, uh, four to one. Crocodons. Buster Biggs, 0 for one. Magic Moore, 0 for one. Billy LeBlanc, 0 for one. Big Paul at 45 pitches, giving up two walks, two hits, and her ERA is at 5.02. Buster Biggs, neutral fit, 0 for one today. He sure is. Two home runs, open for three. First one seals a pie, misses one and zero. Oh, ball one. Bay Paul, that one right down there for a strike. And we're even at one apiece. Top of the fourth. Bay Paul throws more balls than strikes. Although she comes with two quick strikes there, one and two, she's got him in the hole. Pops that one up in the center field, but that's going to be caught waving that off as King for the first out. But he got her to pitch some pitches. Magic Moore, the center fielder, is neutral and fit. He's got good connection versus left handed pitching, and he's 0 for 1 today. Paul, of course, a right handed pitcher. That pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. That one's a low ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. That's in there for called strike. One and two now to Magic oh. Moore. That's in there for called third strike. Two outs now, and Billy LeBoyne stepping into the batter's box. Nice breaking pitch on the last one. Started way high and dropped in over the zone. Fool him on that. Billy LeBoyne now, the last batter. What one misses his elbow? Just close. Ball, one another count. That one's way outside. Ball two. Could she put the next one in the middle? She does. Hard hit by LeBoyne. Off the wall and left field. Oh, but he's going to have to stop there. He's going to have to stop at first. There's no way he's getting his second on that one, Pete. Good single, Billy. Yes, sir. So Billy LeBoyne standing at first base with two outs. Bertha Banks neutral and fit with a walk today. LeBoyne does not have a lot of speed, so he's not a threat, a steal threat. First pitch from Paul is in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. That's fouled straight back. Now Bertha Banks behind in the count. One and two. That's hit foul into the stands along the first baseline. One and two. Bay Paul going to deliver her 61st pitch. High ball two. Count is evened up. Two and two. That one's high ball three. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. And check swing, but Bertha Banks will take her base. So two on with two outs and in steps Eliza Peck. Tying run at the plate. 0 oh, for 1. I got runners in first and second. Too bad there's two outs. We just need an outfield single by Peck. This one's in there for strike. 0 oh, on the count. Top of the fourth, 4 1 Crocodiles. That one's way outside. We're even at one apiece. Beautiful day here in Houston. Oh, oh hard hit on. foul ball down the third base line. She's in a hole 1 and 2. Hard hit straight to third to third. She picks it up, throws it to first, and ends the shot. Every time. <laughs> Going into the bottom of the fourth, still 4-1 Crocodons. Vinny Vortex, Bick Noggins, and Carlton Starr. Vortex 0-for-1, Noggins 0-for-1 with a strikeout. Starr 2-for-2 two two with a double. Levana at 55 pitches with five strikeouts a walk. Giving up six hits. Vinny Vortex, the right fielder, is 0-for-1 today, but he's hitting 319 on the season with a home run and eight RBIs. Levon delivering his 56th pitch. High, ball one. Now it's fouled back, and now Vortex is in a hole. No balls, two strike. Oh, no, one ball, one strike. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes now. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little ahead of myself. Vortex. There's a roller. Bertha Banks is going to pick it up. One bare oh. hand and make the throw, but not in time. Oh. Crocodons are pretty speedy out there. Yeah. Biff Noggins, the left fielder, is 0 for 1. Vortex standing at first base with nobody out. Vortex got plenty of speed. He was able to beat out that infield grounder. First pitch to Noggins is in there for a called strike. Strike one. <gasps> Whoa, throw over is into the stands. <laughs> and Vinny Vortex will take second base. Jeez. Levon went for the uh, pickoff and wound up throwing it over the heck Woodman's was head.
into the stand. So uh, the next pitch to uh, Noggins is low. One ball, one strike with no outs. That one's popped up, foul out of play along the first baseline. One and two now to Biff Noggins. Swing and a miss, and Biff Noggins goes down on strike. So one down and one on. Carlton Starr, the shortstop's locked in and fit. He's two for two with a double and a single today. Crowd really letting him cheer him on. Oh. There's a shot. And that's uh, caught by Vinny Vortex. I mean, uh, Freddie. Freddie <laughs> wow, Nelson. how about that? <laughs> yeah, Freddie. Yeah, <laughs> Vinny Vortex forgot who he was playing for. So two outs. It was kind of a, a fly ball to uh, Freddie Knox at the second base. He made the catch. Uh, two outs. Pitch is low. Ball one to lay lane drive. Vinny Vortex is standing at second base. He's not playing second base. Foul, the uh, drive falls, fouls that one straight back. One ball, one strike, two outs. There's a roller that's going to get to Gonzalez. Dexterra will pick it up. Gonzalez. I'm just making up names now. I have no idea where I'm doing. All right, so we're going into the top of the fifth. Okay, the Crocodons <laughs> have four runs on seven hits. The Beavos have one run on three hits with an error. Freddie Knox, one for two is a double. Oh, okay. That's why I'm trying to go fast because I'm missing stuff. Freddie Knox, the second baseman, one for two with a double today. I want to know how Gonzalez is doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing for the, the Overdogs today, isn't he? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, two pitches. The first two pitches to Freddie Knox uh, are balls. Ball, two balls, no strikes now. That one makes it in there. So two balls and a strike to Freddie Knox. That one's in there as well. So it's uh, evens the count, two and two. Oh, Freddie. And Freddie Knox out in front of that one, swinging a miss. And he goes down on strike. So Hanley Dexter is stepping in. He's one for two with a home run and an RBI. Boy, swinging like a rusty gate is Freddie Knox. First pitch to Dexter misses inside ball, one of the count. Dexter is cool. The only one B Wolf right now to put a run on the board yet in the fifth Follow. inning. Two, and oh, Pollock's a little nervous to throw to him. Her 75th pitch misses as well. 3-0. and oh. She's probably going to walk him, but she's going to come in there for a stroll. Oh, she misses all four. That's, that's nerves, Pete. Yep. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman. He's locked in and fit. Um, I didn't see what he was doing. Hanley Dexter is standing at first base with one out. First pitch to Woodman is outside. Ball one. There it goes. Hanley Dexterres, and he's going to be in there with a yes. stolen base. All right. So now Hanley Dexterres at second base with one out. Whew. The count is two balls, no strikes to Sturdy Woodman. There's only one out in the inning. Uh, Allen's inside. inside ball three. Three and one now to Sturdy Woodman. Stay. That's in there for called strike. Three and one. Oh. That's ripped foul along the first baseline. Three balls, two strikes, one out. <gasps> Oh, and that catches the inside corner and Sturdy Woodman with a tip of the hat, but Woodman now on strikes. Two outs now. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah. That's two big strikes here by, by Paul Reason. This comes in Ruby Green now. Oh, it's a hard geez. liner with that straight to Ruby. It's second to first to a third out. Same stuff. Every time we get somebody in scoring position now, man. Heading into the bottom of the fifth, still four to one. Stephen Reed, one for one with a walk. Andre Candela, 0 for two with a strikeout. Tara, Tara Leonera, one for two with a home run. Levana, 67 pitches with six strikeouts, a walk up and up seven hits. Stephen Reed is locked in and fit. He's one for one with a single, a walk, and an RBI. And we are at the halfway mark in this game. Bottom of the fifth, 4 1 Crocodons. 68th pitch by Deshaun Levana's high and inside in there for strike. Over the count to the rookie Stephen Reed. That one makes the slider makes it outside 0 and 2. He's got the swift in the hole, but he's done well 0 and 2. And he does it again. Hits it deep to center field. Magic Moore going back to the track. Pulls that one in for the first out. Woo. Some whiffer. Yeah. Andre Condella 0 for 2. On the other hand, the crowd behind him though, he's tense. They want him to get back in this. Sean Levon wants to put him away. That one there's strike. The infield's going to go guard the lines for Candela. 72nd pitch by Deshaun Levon coming up right here. Oh, one hit straight back up the middle past Levon and Magic Moore. That's going to be a clean single. And he's going to be one for three. This Condella at first base with one out. Brings in Terra Leonero. One for two, the home run and a double. Or no, two RBIs, I'm sorry. Power hitter. Grounder. Double play would be a great thing here to end this side. That one misses ball, one no. That one in the dirt, good trap. 
Eliza Peck, who's been playing better defensively. There's one to Freddie Knox, who's going to pick it up, toss it to second. Over to first, and they're not going to turn the double play, but they get the lead runner, Pete. Which is a good thing. And that brings in run to third, one for two, the single, 152, one home run, two RBIs. Crowd on their feet. Hard hit straight to word, Sturdy Woodman, and it's going to end that side. All right, come on, B Wolves. Let's get some offense going here. We're going into the top of the sixth. It's still 4 1 Crocodons. Buster Briggs 0 for 2. Magic Moore 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Billy LeBoink 1 for 2. Bay Paul at 83 pitches with 3 strikeouts, 4 walks, giving up 3 hits. Briar is at 4.41. Come on now. Yeah. Buster Briggs left fielder neutral and fit 0 for 2, hitting 310 with 2 home runs, 4 RBIs. We need 3 runs, guys. Let's go. First pitch from Paul is in there for called strike. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike to Buster Biggs. Oh, that one's Buster. popped up into left center field. High enough that the center fielder, Kane, is able to get there and make the catch for the first out. One down, and Magic Moore steps in. He does step in. He's 0 for 2. And they're going to, this is it for Bay Paul. They're going to pull her out. She ends with a 4 3 2 area, 1 3 8 whip, and 10 Ks. Uh, she was locked in and fit. Well, didn't quite lose all of her stuff yet, but they're bringing in Woody Anno, the relief pitcher. Uh, he's got 11.25 ERA and a 175 whip with 6 Ks, and he's tense. He's known mostly for his speed and his junk. He's not very accurate at all. He's well wristed. As soon as a K does, he throws a four-finger, a two-finger, a slider, and I think they're bringing him in because they're confident in their uh, lead here. So hopefully Magic Moore can capitalize. He hits a grounder, a diving third, over at third, throws to first, is not in time. And uh, Magic Moore runs it out. Good single there, Magic. Yes, sir. Now Billy LeBoink is neutral fit. Favors the high pitch. He's one for two with a single today. Runner at first base with one out. Now it's lifted foul along the third baseline. Out of play. No balls, one strike. Uh-oh, there, there goes, goes Magic. Got him. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two balls, one strike with two outs. There's a smash. That'll get into left field. Biff Noggins with a sliding stop to get her, to keep her from going behind him. But uh, LeBoink with a single to left. So two uh, outs, runner at first base. And uh, Bertha Banks, two outs. At least you won't uh, throw out um, Billy LeBoink at first because he's not stealing. <laughs> first one misses low. Second one misses high and outside. 2-0 and at Bertha Banks. Top of the six, still 4-1. That one misses 97 miles an hour. It's at court 3 and 0 to Bertha Banks. She hits it hard in the right center field. That's going back. That's going to be multiple bases. She's making it around to second. Slides in there. Just barely makes it. Good double, Bertha Banks. And that pushes uh, Billy LeBoy got to third. Runners to second, third, beat. Yes, sir. With two outs, Eliza Peck 0 for 2 today. Come on, a single, Eliza Peck. That's all we need. Just a single. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's low ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. Runners at second and third. There's a shot. Yes. That's going to get into center field. And two runs are going to come yeah. in, Tom. The Boink and Bust uh, and Bertha Banks were both cross. So it's 4 3 now. And in steps Freddie Knox. Eliza Peck standing at first base. With a two RBIs there. Nice single. And the Beebles are one run away. And the dangerous Freddie Knox. There she's going to second base. That one gets away. Wild pitch into a, a little cornerback here and they give the runner second base now she's in scoring position first was in there for a strike or second was in for a strike one apiece that one floats high ball two good patience Freddie Knox the rattled Woody Anno now it's having a hard to oh a hard liner to right center field it's going back oh Caught by Vinny Vortex near the track in right field but the B-Wolves put two on the board making it four three as we head into the bottom of the sixth Clifford Kane 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Vinny Vortex 1 for 2. And Biff Noggins 0 for 2 with 2 strikeouts. Levon at 76 pitches with 6 strikeouts and giving up a walk. Clifford Kane neutral and fit 0 for 2 today. Right. Kane hitting 220 on the season. Playing center field for the Crocodiles. Sean delivers. That one's fouled straight back. Strike 1. There's a roller, Bertha Banks is going to get there, pick it up, make the throw, and she's going to throw him out at first base. So one down, and in steps Vinny Vortex. Vortex neutral, fit one for two with a single today. Vortex hitting 333 on the season. Bases are empty for Vortex, one out. Foul straight back. No balls in a strike. Levon delivers. 
Inside ball one. Counts evened up one and one. Deshaun Levon delivering his 81st pitch here. Hi, that's in there for a called strike. I mean, ball, one ball, two strikes <laughs> with one out. Vortex, the right fielder in the box. Swing and a miss. And Levon racks up another K. Two outs now. Biff Noggins, the left fielder, stepping in neutral and fit 0 for 2 with two Ks today. Base is empty in the bottom of the sixth. A one run game. Crocodiles four, B Wolves three. Noggins takes that one low. Ball one. That one's low as well. Ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Biff Noggins. That's in there for called strike. Two balls, one strike, two outs in the bottom of the six. That one's low as well. Levon now finds himself behind in the count three and one to Biff Noggins. Noggins takes that one for a call strike. It's a full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Deshaun delivers and that's a roller to Dexter. So make the throw for the third out. And we're gonna be heading into the top of the seventh. B-Wolves three runs on seven hits with an error. Crocodons four runs on eight hits. Hanley Dexter's one for two with a home run and a walk. 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. Rudy, uh, Ruby Green 0 for 3. Anno through 16 pitches gave up four hits in his brief appearance. Exteriors 1 for 2 with a home run, a walk, RBI, hitting 433 this season. Oh. Lifted that one into foul territory and just out of play in left field. One strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One and one. That's in there for a called strike over the inside corner. One ball, two strikes. Woody Anno known as a K dud. That one's in the dirt. Two and two now. And Dexter is known as a tough out. That one's outside. Three balls, two strikes. And that one's inside ball four. So even though he got out in front of Hanley Dexter, he winds up walking him. All right, everybody's sturdy wood. 0 for 2, the walk. Pressure up. Hopefully Woodman could get on here and not go 0 for 3. Be nice to see him go 1 for 3. Got a fast runner at first base. That one's in there, but he swings a little early. Oh, with a count. That one's low in the dirt. Good stop by a Terra Leonera. Or even a one apiece. Hard oh. hit line. Oh, that's straight to Stars. And throw the second for one. First for two. The double play. Designated hitter Ruby Green, known as an RBI man. She's 0 for 3, though, today. He'll hit in a paltry 125 this season. Two outs. Nobody on base in the top of the seventh. First pitch is high, ball one. That's in there for called strike. One and one. There's a smash. Oh, oh and a diving <laughs> stop. I run to third at third base, and we're heading into the bottom of the seventh. Still 4-3 Crocodons. Carlton Starr, two for three with a double. Lane drive, one for three with a double and a strikeout. Stephen Reed, one for two with a walk. Deshaun Levon at 88 pitches with seven strikeouts, a walk coming up eight hits. Carlton Starr locked in and fit. Locked in, two for three with a double and a still. And Sean Levon getting close to running out of gas here. Hard hit past everyone into the gap in left center field. Grabs that's going to be at least two. Okay, gets a double, leadoff double to start things with Crocs. And the pressure up now as leading drive comes with a runner in scoring position. Solid contact hitter, fast runner at second base. 90th pitch by Deshaun Levon as he outstayed his welcome. He's going to toss over to first base. Oh my gosh. And Deshaun Levon drops the ball. And safe. Now runners at the corners with no outs of pressure. Way up. Stephen Reed, one for two. Yeah, that's that's it for Deshaun now, who's tense and all of his meters are down at 30. Boy, I'd hate to, hate to turn the game around on that. Here comes our old friend Tats Belfort, known mostly for his velocity. He's got a 3.0 ERA, a 1.17 whip, two Ks. He's well rested. He's ball prone. He throws a four figure slider, the curveball, and a high pressure situation where we really need him to get some outs here. We need him to strike out Stephen Reed now, and then get a double play. It's about the about the only way we can get out of this. Fouls that one back off the net. Oh, on the count here in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, misses that slider just outside or curveball. We're even at one piece. Hard hit to Freddie Knox, who's going to go to second base for one, but over to first for two. They get the double play, but one run comes in. And the Crocodiles grab another, make it now five to three. And Andre Candela now is tense. The bases are empty with two outs. Ted Spelford just needs to get around one batter. That one misses. 
one another count. And that one right there for a strike, one apiece, and the safety's off for Candela now. Who's normally a good hitter, he's tense, only 146 on his season. Hard hits a curveball on the first base line, misses. One and two. Oh, and he does not chase. Good pitch by number 36. This is lower, even a 2 2 2. Bottom of 7. 5 3. Crocs. I was popped up in the right center field. Magic Moore is ranging over. Makes that crab for the third out. All right, so we're heading into the top of the eighth. It's uh, B Wolves three runs on seven hits with two errors. The Crocodiles five runs on nine hits. Buster Biggs 0 for 3. Magic Moore 1 for 3 with a strikeout. Billy LeBoy 2 for 3. Anno at 28 pitches with a walk and giving up four hits. Buster Biggs 0 for 3 today. Come on, Buster. We need something from you today. And that's who we didn't want to see. What Woody, Woody Anno is going to get lifted here in favor of Nico Dickerson, the A-minus relief pitcher. He's got a 2.7 ERA, a 1.3 whip, 11 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got a little bit better than average velocity and junk. He's got good accuracy. He's not fully rested, uh, but he's uh, mostly rested. He's uh, walk prone. He's got a four-seam fastball, a cut fastball, and a changeup. All right, he's coming at Buster Biggs. His first pitch, high and inside. Good eye there, Buster. That came across the plate. One of the count. That one does well. Two quick misses, 2-0. and oh. That one right in there. Buster Biggs hits it past the mound in the center field. Buster Biggs was waiting for that right pitch, and he got it. Good single, Buster. Yes, sir. Lead-off single. So one on, no outs. Magic Moore is tense but fit. He's one for three with a single. Hitting 132 with a home run and an RBI. First pitch from Dickerson's in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's fouled straight back, and now Moore is in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Throw over to first, but Biggs is back safely. No balls, two strikes, no outs. That's a, that's going to get oh. to star. He's going to get flip it to second to get the lead runner for one out, but Magic Moore beats out the throw to first. So one out, runner at first, Billy the point stepping in. 2-3 two, with two singles, fast runner at first base. Oh, Swings at the high pitch, on. hits a fly ball in the center field, waving that off. That's going to be the second out caught by Kane. Mother trucker. <laughs> Bertha Banks, the third baseman, neutral and fit. One for one with a double and two walks. There's a runner at first base with two outs now in the top of the eighth. Crocodiles with a two-run lead, making it 5-3. First pitch. That's a shot that's going to oh. Carlton start on the ground, and Oof. she beats it out. She beats it out, an yes. infield single to deep short. So runners at first and second with uh, two outs. And uh, Eliza Peckup now one for three with that great single the last time. Oh, oh an easy it. pop God up. Dang it. Pop up the left field, easy catch for Star is going to end that side. <laughs> little floater that son of a I'm so sick of that I can spit <laughs> bottom of the eighth we're five to three uh crocodons Tia Tara Leonera to catch a step in one for three with a home run and two RBIs <laughs> L4 delivers the first pitch for a called strike strike one Now it's popped up into foul territory. No balls, two strikes for Leonair, the crocodile catcher. That's hard hit but foul along the third base line. No balls, two strikes. That's in there for called third strike. And Tats Belfour gets his first victim of the day. So one down and in steps run to third. Run to third, one for three with a single today. Bell four throwing his 13th pitch in the bottom of the eighth. Bases are empty for third. Now it's low ball. One ball, no strikes with one out. My oh. ball two. Two and oh to run to third. The Crockett on third baseman. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He'll pick it up, make the throw to first for the second out. Two down now, and in steps Clifford Kane, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. Oh, Balfour locked in and fit at this point. Delivers a strike to Kane. Base is empty in the bottom of the eighth. Two outs to, for Clifford King. Swing and a miss. Now Kane is behind in the count. 0 oh and 2. 
Balfour is going to deliver his 18th pitch right here. And it's a roller and oh. past everybody. You got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> so a roller that got past um, Bertha Banks and Hanley Dexterous gets in the left field for a single. Tats Belfour, uh, his mojo went down because of poor play by his fielders. <laughs> First pitch to Vinny Vortex is in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's low, ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. Runner at first base does not have a lot of speed. Swing and a miss. Vortex was out in front of that one. But he puts himself behind in the count. One and two now to Tats Belfort. Swing and a miss. Belfort racks him up. So this is it, folks. It's B-Wolves, three runs on nine hits with two errors. Crocodons, five hits, uh, five runs on ten hits. Vinny... Freddie, oh God, Freddie Knox, <laughs> one for four with a double and a strikeout. Hannah Dexter's one for two with a home run and two double, two walks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Freddie Knox, the do, uh, second baseman, neutral <laughs> and fit. Tara Leonair is going to be pulled for Evan Chukov. Evan Chukov, the catcher, has no errors. He's hitting 269 with no home runs. He's tense, but um, not 100% physically. He's got uh, less than, uh, he's got poor strength. <laughs> Not very good speed. He's got better than average fielding and a very good arm at catcher. <laughs> so check off, taking over at catcher. First pitch from Dickerson's in there for called strike. That one's high. Ball one. One ball, one strike to Freddie Knox. That one's inside ball two. That's a smash. That's going to get out there into right center field and there goes freddie knox and he's going to go all the way nope he's going to pull back Ooh, good move he's the good call by the third base go coach third. <laughs> good hit wow that hit. chuck off brings him in quick dexter is now one for two with a fast runner at first at second base no outs swings a day early misses a one the count pressure up top of the night people's trying to get back in it there's one uh, oh diving knocked down Freddie Knox is gonna get is gonna get their handley dexterous to come under second. Oh, he's gonna go back. He's caught in a run. Oh no! Oh my! Freddie and Knox turned around, headed back for third, and was thrown out at third base. So whatever. one out now, and Hanley dexterous standing at first base. Sturdy Woodman stepping in. Unbelievable. That one's inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. That yes. one's smashed, and that's going get out of here. Right field. And Sturdy Woodman has Ties put the again. Wolves into this game. Yes, sir. That one traveled 413 feet to right field. It's his second home run and eighth RBI, and that oh, makes it 5-5 in the top of the ninth. Ruby, Ruby Green stepping in. Timely home run after that ugly now, run back by <laughs> Freddie Knox. Nico Dickerson comes out. We're going to go with another. This is the closer for the uh, for the Crocodons. I don't know what we're going to do after this, but Mc Ricky McFarland comes in. Uh, no, mostly for his junk. Crazy junk. Good velocity as well. He's well rested. He's got a 22.50 ERA and a 4.50 whip with only 4 Ks. So not quite sure what to expect from him. He's a specialist. Uh, he throws a forefinger and mixes it up with the slider. High pressure here in Houston as b are threatening to get ahead in this game. Well. And that's that easy, <laughs> easy pop-up. <laughs> Field star could I could have caught that? I could have ran down and caught that. Buster Biggs, the left fielder, steps in. Two outs, nobody on. Biggs takes the first pitch inside ball one. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one now. That's in there for called second strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs to Buster Biggs. That one's popped up into. Right center fielder, right fielder's getting under it, makes the catch. Vortex makes the third out. So we're heading into the bottom of the ninth. B Wolves, five runs on 12 hits with two errors. Crocodiles, five runs on 10 hits. Biff Noggins, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Carlton Star, 3 for 4 with two doubles. The lane drive, 1 for 4 with a double and a strikeout. Belfort, 22 pitches with two strikeouts. Fielder, Biff Noggins. Biff Noggins off for 3. Pressure still way up. And Biff's going to take a seat. They're going to sit him down. They're going to be a Norton Pickle to uh, pinch hit. Norton Pickle normally plays shortstop. Uh, good choice. Norton's hitting 462 on the season. He's a solid contact hitter with good speed. So it's a good move by the Crocodons who want to try and get the lead back in this game. 
Otherwise, we're going to extra innings. Check swing of the first one inside. Strike one. Good pitch there by the locked in Tats Belfort. Coming up, it's 24th pitch right here. Check swing strike two. It's going right at him. Number 36. 0 oh, 2. Can he put Pickle down? Swinging him at strike three. Three pitch strikeout. Nice curveball way down. Great pitch selection. Carlton Stark coming up now. Three for four. Two doubles and a single. Star point in the wall. The locked in and fit the crowd on their feet. Curveball fouls it back up off the fence. Almost hits lane drive. Oh, on the count. Swing and wrist strike too low and away, and Belfort's in command. Oh, and two. What can he do? Oh, just misses inside with that one, one and two. He's got to be careful, Carlton Starr. Could do real damage. Fouls that one back off at the fence again. One and two. 30th pitch from Belfort coming up here. He's trying to get out of this one. It's a little roller. Sturdy Wood was going to pick that up and walk it over himself. Grab that second out, two down, Pete. We're close to going to extra innings. If uh, if he could pick up, put down Leanne Drive with two outs. Crowd screaming here in Houston. Hard liner, foul ball, souvenir, first base line. Oh, one the count. Great contact hitter. Hard hit down the line. Third base foul ball, souvenir. I wouldn't want to be catching those souvenirs. Infield guard in the lines. Fouls that one back off at the wall. Still 0-2. Two. two outs. One more to go. Little roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick it up. Whip it to first. And close the side up, Pete. We're going to extra innings. All right. Here we go. We're heading into the top of the 10th. It's 5-5. Five, five. Magic Moore, 1-4 for four with a strikeout. Billy LeBoy, 2-4. for four. And Bertha Banks, 2-2 for two with a double and two walks. McFarland with five pitches. Got his ERA to 16.88. Magic Moore is tense, but fit. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching. He's 1-4 for four with a single today. <laughs> Oh, Norton Pickle's going to sit down because he was uh, he was um, pinch hitting. They're going to bring in Jefe Manzano. He's going to play left field now. Manzano known mostly for his speed and his fielding. Good defensive left fielder. He's got uh, no, no stats yet, so we haven't, we haven't seen much from Lozano. Manzano here. He's playing deep against Magic Moore. Hard hit past the mound on the first pitch, and that's going to be a clean single for Magic Moore to start things off in the top of the hand. Good, Good start, B-Wolves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Billy LeBoyne, neutral and fit, favors the high pitch. He's two for two with two singles, hitting 349 on the season, and the pressure is up now on Ricky McFarland. First pitch to LeBoyne is in there for called strike. Strike one. Oh, no. Now it's popped up into shallow center field. Shortstop Carlton Starr makes the catch for the first out. And uh, Magic Moore had to get back to first, so up and down, one on. Bertha Banks, two for two, the double single, two walks. Just don't hit that double play ball, Bertha. There he goes for second base. The pitch outside, the throw in the dirt. Oh, and he makes it in. Magic Moore now is in scoring position, Pete. That one misses ball two, two and oh, one out. Curveball hit into the gap. Oh, picked that up. Steve Reed throws it to first to get that second out. We got a runner at third base, Pete. Come on, Eliza Peck. One for four with a single, two RBIs. A, si a single puts us ahead. Come on, Eliza. Two outs, runner at third base. First pitch popped into uh, center field, and it's going and uh, it's off, off the wall. wall. And Eliza Peck is pulling into oh. second with a double, oh. and the lead run the has crossed the plate. Oh. Making it 6 5 B Wolves. I can't believe she almost hit a home run. Freddie Knox, two for five. Can he get more? Can he hit an outfield single? That one misses high. The B-Wolves had the lead, Pete, in the tenth. They can't give it away. Oh, oh that's a fly ball to right center field. That's going to be an easy catch just short of the track by Vinny Vortex to end that side. But the B-Wolves had the lead, Pete. I can't tell you how aggravating this is getting me. <laughs> Six to five B-Wolves as we head into the bottom of the tenth. Stephen Reed, one for three with a walk. Andrew Candela, one for four with a walk, uh, with a strikeout. And Evan Chekhov's first at bat. Belfour at 34 pitches. Stephen Reed, neutral and fit, known as a whiffer. He's one for three with a single and a walk. Looks like maybe they're going to go to the bullpen. Tats Belfour might be taking a seat here. And here she comes. Macy York, the closing pitcher with a zero ERA, zero whip. Three strikeouts. She's neutral and juiced. Her velocity is uh, very good. She's got uh, good junk, really good accuracy, and she's almost fully rested. She's got a forcing fastball, a slider, and a curveball. All we need is three, Macy, and we're getting out of here with a W. 
First pitch is fouled off straight back. Strike one to Stephen Reed. Like a million Reed miles second, an hour. The second baseman. <laughs> Allen's outside. One ball, one strike to Reed. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom of the 10th. Oh, that one's low ball, too. Two and one now to Stephen Reed. Macy York going to deliver her fourth pitch. And that's fouled straight back. The count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes with no outs. Stephen Reed, known around the league as a whiffer. Swing and a miss, and he just shows why he's got that moniker. One down. And Andre Candela is tense, but Fitty's got bad jumps. He's one for four with a single today, hitting 143 on the season. One down, nobody on in the bottom of the 10th. Macy York delivers low ball one. One below strikes. Swing and a miss, and Candela has even the count at one and one. Oh, it's high. Ball two. Candela looked like he was ready for that fastball. <laughs> two balls, one strike, and one out. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to pick it up. He's going to make the run himself. Step on first for the second out. Two down. <laughs> and it all rests on Evan Chekhov, the catcher who came in. It's tense, but well, hitting 269 on the season. No home runs, two RBIs. Chekhov, tense. Came in as a defensive substitution. Swing and a miss. And York challenged him with the first pitch. Threw that fastball just good right past him, swing and a miss. And now Chuckoff is in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. B Wolves with a one run lead. That one's outside ball one. One and two now. Swing and a miss. Chuckoff goes down on strikes. Macy York racks up for second save. What a game, Tom. What a game for the B Wolves. A come from behind victory. Tying it up in the ninth inning, taking the lead in the tenth, and Macy York shutting them down. Shutting them down. Two uh -oh. Ks in the ninth inning, still no ERA. She's building that, that K total, and she picks up her second save of the, of the season. She's been flawless since we picked her up. She really yes, was. She did. Really wasn't good. Okay. Yeah, it, it didn't start good. It looked ugly, and it looked like. This was a 4 nothing in the bottom of the first inning. The Crocs score four runs. Our Beavers eke one back out in the third. They get two more in the sixth, make it interesting, and then the Crocs, you know, push forward, get another one, make it 5-3. We're thinking that's it until Sturdy Woodman finally gets that two run. You know, I mean, <laughs> we were just yeah. about to get one more. Freddie Knox all of a sudden turns around from scoring to get tagged out of third. And then, luckily, Sturdy Woodman comes up and jacks a two-run bomb to tie yeah. it up again and to put that one out it Eliza Peck off the wall four more feet and that was a home run but if that wasn't off the wall that's caught I'm su I'm kind of surprised he didn't jump on that one yeah me too yeah yeah but what it could have should have you know that's that's the way it goes and we knew I mean Sturdy Woodman's been hitting bombs the last you know few, few few games um they just haven't had an just haven't had enough and and today he finally got one full and he he took it deep he did. just when we needed him to so yes crocs get five runs on 10 hits beagles get six runs and 14 hits along with two errors <laughs> one of yeah. them one of them uh deshaun levon throwing the ball into the stands <laughs> well both of them were deshaun levon because oh. uh he throws the one into the stands and then yeah. there was the flip from woodman to to levon covering first and he dropped the ball which is unfortunate because other than that, Levon looked pretty good. I mean, except for that first inning. He um, looked good every other <coughs> inning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Knox goes two for six. Dix two for three. Woodman one for four. Ruby Green has a DH. She's looking rough this season. Over five today. She's only yeah. hitting 111. Um, she's definitely not having a good season no, so far. She, she's not capitalizing on, on the time, the, the little time she'd be given. Buster Biggs, a disappointing one for five. Magic Moore, Billy the Boy, and Bertha Banks all go two for. Bertha two for three. Um, and uh, Eliza Peck two for five with three RBIs. Eliza yeah. Peck, what a, what a day for her. Yeah, she's she's quietly having a pretty good game, which is, uh, again, you mentioned earlier, I think that's one of the reasons why she's seeing more playing time than Steve Monstor is that, like like you were saying, Monstor's not doing a lot with the time that he gets. Yeah. Um, whereas Eliza Peck, like I say, she may not be burning up the charts, but she's putting numbers on the board, which, you know. Yeah, she's earning that, the starts. Right. That means something. Okay. Anything about the Crocs? Oh, 
Okay, well, <laughs> crocodiles. I, I honestly, um, the only one that had a, what what you would think would be a really good game was Carlton Starr. He went three for five, scored two runs. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, um, everybody just had one hit. Uh, Lelaine Drive, one for five. That was that double in the first inning. After yeah. that, she didn't really do anything. Uh, yeah. Stephen Reed, one for four. Um, uh, drive and, and Reed both scoring runs as well. Candela, one for five with a strike. All the uh, uh, drive, Reed. Candela all had strikeouts. Lee and She goes one for four, scores a run, and hit. The, she hit a home yeah, run. Yeah, three. Got two run. RBI. Or two. Yeah. Runs. So her her one hit was that two run home run. Yeah. Um, but she also struck out once. Chuckov sub. He came in, only had one at bat, and he struck out. In, in a crucial time, just yeah. really, really crucial moment. Uh, Macy York was able to you know have his have her way with that guy. Uh, run to third. She was uh, one for four with a strikeout. Kane one for four with a strikeout. Vinny Vortex, you know, dangerous hitter. Vinny Vortex one yeah. for four though, yeah. with two Ks. Winds up with two Ks. Biff Noggins, same thing. Usually a, a pretty tough hitter. Noggins, he goes 0 for three with two strikeouts. Um, Nance Pickle, 0 no, for one Norton with a strikeouts. Pickle. Norton Pickle, 0 for one with a, with a strike with a <laughs> strikeout. So really the only one who who had a a pretty good day at the plate was Carlton Starr. Yeah, and look at that. I mean, all but two Crocs fan today. Yeah, and Super. Manzano didn't didn't have an at bat, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even count. <laughs> great, great pitching for the B-Wall. Deshaun Levon comes out, goes throws six innings, gives up only nine hits. That's pretty darn good. Unfortunately, four run runs, uh, all in the first inning. Uh, walks a batter, gets seven Ks though. Gives up that one home run. His ERA is a respectable 3.57, and he holds on to his 1-1 one one record. Uh, Tats Belfort comes in. We haven't seen him in a while. Tats plays his three innings, gives up only one hit, three strikeouts, earns the win, uh, which brings his ERA to 2.0, and now gives him a 1-0 record on the season. A great a great showing by Tats today. And as the Beagles grab the win, Macy York comes in and does what she does and clamps down like a vice grip. One inning gives up nothing. Drops two batters with the K's. Still a zero ERA and now two saves, Pete. Yes, sir. That's that's the way to go, Macy. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no, no, sir. Are you sure you want to get Smack Avery back? We can uh, at least go get she, Smack Avery. If we stayed with the Beebles and she tested the market and signed her for whatever she wanted. <laughs> Bay Paul for the Crocs went five and a third. Gave up three hits, one earned run, four walks, three strikeouts. Gave up a home run. Hurry area is at 4.32. Her record remains 0-1. Williano came in, pitched up uh, an inning and two-thirds, gave up four hits, two earned runs, one walk. He leaves with an 11.17 ERA, and his record remains no wins, two losses, and a save. Nico Dickerson came in, pitched an inning and a third. He gave up five hits, two runs, two earned runs, gave up a home run, uh, and his ERA goes to 3.97. His record remains 1-0-0, and then... Ricky McFarland will take the loss, Tom. He pitched one and two third innings, gave up two hits, gave up one earned run. That the uh, That's the winning run. Uh, his ERA is at uh, 4.73, and his record drops to no wins, two losses, and no saves. So. Yeah, 14.73, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I think he said four, but yeah, revolving door there for the Crocs pitchers. <laughs> Yeah, the B-Wolves have been able to do that lately. Is is They're getting the pitch counts up, and so pitchers are getting pulled earlier, and then... Uh, you know, a lot of these uh, relief pitchers really seem to be uh, really getting overworked a bit. So, it, you know, very quickly the B Wolves are getting the better of them. Teams are pulling them. Um, you get into situations where pitchers wind up coming up to bat, and then, you know, the other team needs the offense, so they'll pull the pitcher for that reason. So, yeah, you start to see this uh, rotation of, of pitchers pretty quickly. Yep. Three stars of the game. First star is Henley Dexteris, the B Wolves superstar shortstop. Good old number two. He's two for three with a home run, an RBI, two runs scored, and a stolen base. Yeah, he's on a good a good stretch, Henley Dexteris. Uh, he's yeah. followed closely by our old friend Sturdy Woodman, uh, first B ranked first baseman, number 42, looking good. The B Wolves uniform there. He goes only one for four today, but it's a key home run late game. Two RBI, two run home run, crosses the plate and ties the game up. Yes, sir. And then the uh, third star of the game, B-ranked C, uh, I mean B-ranked catcher <laughs> Eliza Peck. She went two for five with a double and three RBIs on the day. So 
There you go. There's your scorers right there. Yeah, it gets that. It gets the winning run. Yeah. Tommy G, eight hits, two home runs, six RBIs, a great catch, a stolen base, eight strikeouts, a contribution of 64%. Way to go, brother. <laughs> I, I had six hits, one great catch, one stolen base, four strikeouts, 36%. I probably could have done. It probably would have served Tom better if I was sitting in the stand, <laughs> just just watching. I'm getting yeah. so tired. I'm getting so tired of not hitting the dang ball. I can't tell you that. <laughs> you got six hits. I know. I can't even believe that. I don't know how I did, but man, key crucial moments, and I'm pop. I keep popping the thing straight up in the air. It's getting super aggravating. <laughs> uh, well. Well, we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in oil country here in Houston with the, the hot, humid weather, and, and um, you know, over the next yeah. couple of days, we'll do a we'll do a live of the hive here uh, on the road um, in the next couple of days before the next game. There'll be nine other games before that. Some of them big, um, some of them not. I'm trying to see what, what's going on here. I guess, I guess, really no huge. I mean, the Crocs are gonna hit the road. We'll go out to St. Louis. Hopefully, turn things around for them. Freedom. Yeah, I don't know what what else is big up there, but anyway, good, good. Com- our first comfort behind victory this season. Yeah, yeah, we hung in there, and it was really yeah. Like you say, for Sturdy Woodman to hit that tying a home run in the ninth inning, uh, huge, huge. And then and then we got some good pitching out of Tats Belfort. He came in in the ninth inning, did a pretty good job of locking things down as well. Yeah. Um. And then, like you say, we get the go-ahead run in the top of the 10th, and then Macy York shuts it down. What a game. What that, a game. And that go-ahead run, too. I mean, he, he the center fielder stops up on the track, and I'm thinking, there's the catch. That's the game. And he, I thought so, too. And he doesn't jump. I see the, I see the, the mark as it skips off the wall, and I thought, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I saw the catch, and there was no indication that of, of the out. And I'm like, what? I, well, but I saw I, that puff as it hit the wall, you know? Yeah. But I had my finger on the left trigger, so I'm like, oh, you know, so that winds up with a double. <laughs> she was coming pulling yeah. in the second. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I had my finger on that. Otherwise, I would have <laughs> <laughs> Right, she was standing there first. Uh, let's see. Since after that game, uh, there's some little little move here. Joanna Heater gets signed onto the Herbisaurs. Uh, Heater being replaced by Libby Doe. Libby Doe played, uh, she's a 34 year old right uh, relief pitcher, I'm sorry, C plus ranked. Known mostly for her velocity, but pretty, pretty standard. She had 55 velocity, 42 junk, 49 accuracy. Pretty middle of the road pitcher. Um, she was making 3.3 million a year. In comes Joanna Heater, B minus rank. Known, really known for her velocity. Pete, the aptly yeah. named Heater throws a 99 velocity. So she is, she smokes them, and she's accurate. 71 percent accurate. She doesn't have much junk on it. So if you could see where it's coming, you got a chance. But uh, she gets ahead of batters, and she's 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 got power for a for a um, for a hitting pitcher. Twenty seven, uh, the thirty one year old relief pitcher uh, is going to make three point nine million dollars a year in Tacoma to play for the Herbert Store. So it's a good pickup by them. Yes, it was, and there was some more action. The Heaters signed Deft Wedums to replace Tia Mayfair. Tia Mayfair, the twenty eight year old relief pitcher, is C ranked. Um, she's. Uh, she was making one million nine hundred thousand. They're going to pick up Deft Wedums, who's a B minus, thirty-one year old starting pitcher, relief pitcher. Um, they're going to lose a little on velocity. It's kind of a push on junk, but they're going to gain a lot on the accuracy. He's uh, he's uh, much more accurate than uh, than uh, Tia Mayfair. He's got a little bit more power, but he does not make contact nearly as often as Mayfair. But uh, he's also known as a composed pitcher. Like I said, Mayfair made one million nine hundred thousand, and he's going to make four million four hundred thousand this year. So, yeah, he's a little bit definitely. more veteran. That's a, that's a good pitch by them. They're not only getting the composed, but he's also a starter slash reliever, so he can fall into either. Well, that that's always that's a double threat. That's that that's fun for any team to have, especially with someone who could who's got those kind of you know stats. Yeah, and then there's some bad news coming out of Be Wolf Medical trainer yeah sturdy sturdy's arm hurts maybe after pulverizing that second home run of the year the 28 year old first baseman uh drops 11 on the arm but it, he didn't have that strong of an arm to begin with he goes from a 37 down to a 26 so i don't know if you're going to notice a whole lot there it is a big drop though so hopefully they can get him back yeah 
All right. Well, yeah. So, like I mentioned, we're gonna stay here in Houston for the next one. We're gonna this, to, next time we're gonna play the Jacks. It's gonna be Bender against Dog O, the the, the star pitchers here. Now the Jacks are doing strong, right? If we're going back to the standings here. Uh, well, no, Jacks are the bottom, five and seven. Wow. Both Houston teams on the bottom. Which is funny. Yep. Jacks are last place in five and seven. We're we're second to last place in five and seven. So it's actually two teams that are normally strong. The Beagles and the Jacks are are battling for the bottom. The bottom, yeah. Yeah, and the Jacks took the first meeting 11-9, so the Beewolves have a little bit of payback they got to deliver here, so hopefully they'll be able to get the best of uh, Donko, and this is going to be a matchup of uh, the same pitchers. Uh, the uh, Beewolves faced off against the Jacks in the first game of the uh, season, so it was Bender versus O at that point as well. So, Yeah, yeah, and that was, yeah, so this is the second of two meetings between these two teams. They both, they meet twice, like just after the quarter way mark. Uh, we're done playing the Jacks until, unless we see each other in the playoffs. But, um, uh, yeah, and there was no defense in that first game, obviously. We scored nine runs and still lost by a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get that one back. Before we go on the road again, I'm out to Florida and Detroit. Uh, so hopefully hopefully we can get, um, yeah, on our, this is our longest trip. Hopefully we can, we can get a streak going in here. So far, playing in Texas has been... It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it has been. We've, uh, yeah, I think we're, you know, we're starting to see the Beatles turn it around uh, again. We saw it all started out with a kind of a blowout against the Warblers, a 12-4 blowout. Yeah. Um, then, like you said, we had a tight one against the Sandcats, but we were able to take that 3-1 and then the come from behind victory over the Crocodons, 6-5. Um, so we've seen a little bit of everything so far and during this winning streak. And yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Let's keep it up. Two, three more games, we'll get home and, and. Uh, we'll be back in the hunt very good before very good. we yeah before we gotta take travel out to hawaii and take on the uh, our divisional rivals the nemesis for two in a row all right so then in the three more games we'll see you back here to face the jacks before that will be over on uh tommy naperville uh on twitch we'll do the live from the hive which is sort of the back office quarter way mark we'll go through some some of the um some of our player development and potential potential moves that you never know about um so i check in to see in case in case someone gets signed <laughs> um, yeah you may yeah you may have to say goodbye to a fan favorite uh, you never know what can happen i don't know maybe I just flip a coin on that one anyway <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right folks well we will see you here for the next one in houston until then this is tommy g and it's bj and we're saying get out of here